rubies and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Father, I thank you that your wisdom from your word, wisdom from you, Father God, understanding and knowledge, Father God, is more precious than rubies, Father. And all the things, Father God, that I, myself, and your children and all the persecuted lambs can desire are not to be compared unto her, unto your wisdom, Father God, unto your knowledge and understanding, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. So, Father, I thank you that I, as your child and your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, would desire your wisdom and knowledge and understanding more than anything, more than rubies, more than silver, than gold, Father God. Verse 16, length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor. So, Father God, I thank you as I, as your child and your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, seek after your wisdom and knowledge and understanding and get knowledge and wisdom from you, Father God, that your wisdom, Father God, and knowledge and understanding, Father God, will give us the length of days, Father God. Because the length of days when it comes to your wisdom is in the right hand of wisdom. And Father God, and that your wisdom and knowledge and understanding will give us riches and honor in our life, Father God, as we yield to your wisdom and understanding and knowledge, Father God, from your word. And be obedient to your word, Father God, and to you. And yield to your wisdom to do what you want us to do, Father God, and to guide and direct our steps, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 17, her ways are ways of pleasantness. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. So, Father God, I just thank you and I praise you for helping myself and your children and all the persecuted lambs to yield to your wisdom and understanding because the ways of your wisdom and understanding are ways of pleasantness. There is pleasantness in your wisdom and understanding. And Father God, and all the paths of your wisdom and knowledge and understanding are peace. And when we yield to your wisdom and knowledge and understanding, Father God, we have pleasant life father god we have a life of pleasantness and we have a life of peace father and we have your peace when we yield to your wisdom and your word father god and knowledge and understanding in jesus christ's name verse 18 she is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her and happy is everyone that retained her So, Father God, I thank you and I praise you, Father God, as I, as your child and your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world. Father God, as we yield to your wisdom, knowledge and understanding that your wisdom and knowledge and understanding is a tree of life to your children and the persecuted lambs and to me as your child, as we lay hold upon the wisdom, your wisdom from you, Father God, and your word and your knowledge and understanding and happy is your children am I and your lambs out there father the persecuted lambs that retain it wisdom your word father God and understanding and knowledge verse 19 the Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth by understanding hath he established the heavens father I thank you Lord Jehovah Yah my heavenly father by your wisdom father God You have founded the earth, and by your understanding, Father God, you have established the heavens. And by your knowledge, Father God, according to verse 20, the depths and the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. By your knowledge, Father, the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. Verse 21 My son, Let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. Father God, I pray that you help myself as your child and all your children everywhere in the world and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world. Father God, that we will not depart from your 
let wisdom depart from our eyes, Father. That we will keep sound wisdom and discretion, Father God, upon us, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 22. So shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Father God, I pray and I thank you that, Father God, that your sound wisdom and discretion is life unto the souls of all your children and to my soul as your child and to the souls of all the persecuted lambs. And your wisdom, Father God, and your discretion, Father God, is grace to our necks, Father God, to the necks of your people, to the necks of your children, to my neck as your child and to the necks of the persecuted lambs in Jesus Christ's name. Psalm, um, and then in that Psalm, okay, I got to the 23rd verse now. It's Proverbs chapter 3. I don't know why it says Psalm. Sorry about that. Okay, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 23. Then shall thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. Father God, I thank you for helping myself as your child and all your children and the persecuted lambs. Father God, when we, Father God, walk in your wisdom and sound doctrine, Father God, and discretion, Father God, that we shall walk in our way safely, Father God, and our foot shall not stumble because we yield to your wisdom and sound discretion, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 24. When thou lies down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Heavenly Father God, I thank you that I, as your child, and all your children, and all the persecuted lambs, when we lies down, we shall not be afraid. Yea, when we shall lie down, Father God, our sleep shall be sweet, Father God. I thank you for sweet sleep, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, for your people and for all the persecuted lambs and your children, especially all of us that are being persecuted by our persecutors of these modern day slavery programs that we know, Father God, that our persecutors do not allow us to sleep at night. And they do every measure of tactics to make sure that we do not sleep at night and we don't get enough sleep. Hear it, Father God, any time of the day, but especially at night. So, Father God, I thank you for making sure that I, myself, and your children and all the persecuted lambs that are being persecuted by the persecutors of these different types of modern day slavery programs everywhere in the world have a peaceful, sweet sleep, Father God, from you. That you're making it possible, Father God, for all the ones that struggle with insomnia behind witchcraft, attacks of the evil doers, and behind magnetic weapon trees, Father God, and noise harassment campaigns by our persecutors in Jesus Christ's name. That we shall be peacefully in a sweet sleep by you, Father God. Verse 25. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. Father, I pray that you will help myself as your child and all your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world to be not afraid of sudden fear, that we will not be overcome by fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked, the wicked evil doers of human agents of Satan that come against us through these modern day slavery programs when it cometh, Father God. Verse 26. For the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Father God, Jehovah, Yah, my heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, that you shall be my confidence and the confidence of all your children and the confidence of all the persecuted lambs. You are our confidence, Father, and you are our confidant too. And Father, that you shall keep my foot from being taken and you shall keep the foot of your children and the persecuted lambs from being taken, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name from the devil and from the evil persecutors that come against us every day, in Jesus Christ's name. Be kind to others. Now I'm on verse 27. 
Behold, not good for them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. So, Father, I pray that you will help myself and your children and the persecuted lambs to behold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of our hands, Father God, to do it. In Jesus Christ's name, concerning any type thing that we borrow from anyone or we in business transactions or whatever. In Jesus Christ's name. Verse 28. Say not unto thy neighbor, go and come again, and tomorrow I will give when thou hast it by thee. Heavenly Father God, I pray that you will help myself and your children and the persecuted lambs say not unto our neighbors, go and come again, and tomorrow I will give when we have it by us, Father. And this is concerning business transactions or anything when we borrow from our neighbors or family members or loved ones or even other believers. And Father God, we won't play games with each other like that, Father God, when we borrow from our neighbors or we owe somebody money or something. Help us to be integrous, Father God, and honest with our neighbors and each other in the body of Christ, in Jesus Christ's name. Not to say unto our neighbors, go and come again and tomorrow I, we will give and when we have it by us, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, but we will give it to them when they ask for it, Father God, especially when we have it by us, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, when we owe somebody money or owe somebody something that we borrow from them. In Jesus Christ's name. Verse 29. Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwell it securely by thee. Father, I pray that you help myself and your children and the persecuted lambs devise not evil against our neighbors. Seeing, Father God, our neighbors dwell it securely by us, Father God, in the communities where we live, in our neighborhoods, Father God, in the places and homes that we live in, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, even though our neighbors persecute us father god that we will devise not evil against our neighbors seeing that our neighbors drill it securely by us father in jesus christ's name verse 30 strive not with a man without cause if he have done thee no harm no harm strive not with a man without cause if he have done thee no harm so, Father, I pray that you help myself and your children in the persecuted lambs strive not with a man without cause if he have done us no harm, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Because the persecutors strive, Father God, against us without a cause. But, Father God, I thank you for helping myself and your children in the persecuted lambs to walk in integrity, not to mess with people and abuse people without a cause and just be messing with people like our persecutors do us father god did not go around this messing with people without a cause and starting strife and stuff and picking on people and bullying people and none of us lambs are like that and i'm not like that father god so 31 envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Father, I pray that you help myself, Father God, and your children and all the persecuted lambs in to help us not to envy the oppressor and the oppressors that persecute us, Father, through these modern day slavery programs because they get breaks in life and they got this and that and they got a lot more things than we have in the natural realm. And help Myself and your children and the persecuted lambs that choose none of the ways of the oppressor that oppresses us through these modern day slavery programs, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, verse, verse 32. For the froward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. Father God, the froward that come against your children and the persecuted lambs and myself as your child is abomination to you, Father God, especially the froward persecutors and oppressors, Father God, and perpetrators that come against 
your children and the innocent lambs and myself through these modern day slavery programs is an abomination to you, Lord. But Father, I thank you.